Welcome everybody, Josh here, back at you today with a brand new YouTube video. Today we're talking to you guys about this, which it's not going to be a video on the Uncharted Steelbook Edition, which I am currently working on a review for you guys on my channel. This is going to be how to properly eject a movie out of the Blu-ray case. Now, one of the things that's really important is that you guys understand how to properly eject a movie out of the case that it comes with. Now, there's a variety of different cases. There's your standard Blu-ray case, which is basically just plastic, or there's the Steelbook Editions, which I like these Steelbook Editions a little bit more. They don't really cost that much more than your standard Blu-ray Blu-ray disc and they look a little bit nicer on your shelf. They don't really protect the movie per se a little bit more than your standard issue plastic case, but being the fact that I like collecting physical media, being the fact that I like having a collection of movies that I can come back to whenever I can get my hands on a steelbook edition case, I pick it up. And one of the things I really like about some of these cases is that inside of the case, you got your button method of standard issue case where you can just put your finger inside of the little button hole there and you press the button down and you're pretty much good to go in terms of pulling the disc out of the case. I will be showing you guys how to do that in this video just because I feel like so many people don't really know how to properly do that. They like to kind of pull the disc out with fingers on the outside of the disc and what that ends up doing is that ends up ruining the Blu-ray disc itself. It ends up getting scratches on the disc, ends up smudging some of the disc when you're pulling that out because you're getting your fingerprints all over the disc and that degrades the quality of the media. And then you're going to have to go back and rebuy something like Uncharted and especially the Steelbook Edition which sometimes these are relatively limited. You don't want to have to go back and rebuy these Blu-ray discs over time. And so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys here in this video. It's a pretty simple easy method. All you have to do is take your finger, place it in sort of the disc hole itself, and then eject it that way, and you're pretty much good to go. Nothing too complicated about that, but I feel like a lot of people don't know how to do that, and that's why you see so many people just leaving their disc on sort of a coffee table or even their table itself, wherever they're kind of watching movies and using the disc as coasters, which I don't really approve of, especially if you're trying to watch these movies over and over again over time. These are something that you should be collecting and keeping in your collection just so that way you're not spending a whole bunch of money on streaming services such as Disney Plus or Netflix or even Hulu for that matter. There's a lot of really great streaming services out out there such as those but if you really don't want to have to pay monthly subscription fees and you're kind of pressed for cash you're gonna want to do this method so that way you don't have to go back and rebuy them or just pay for the streaming services itself because sometimes you know with these streaming services they like to take away the movies that you like watching just because of the fact that they don't really have the licensing for those or they just lose those movies over time but if you want to watch these movies wherever you want I highly recommend you have a physical media section similar to what I have in my background streaming services is nice for the whole ease of use and ease of access but I think Think that for myself I really do like collecting physical media just because I can have access to that whenever I want to and I don't have to rely on a streaming service to have my favorite movie. So let's get into this and I'll show you guys how to properly pull a Blu-ray disc out of the case. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to either place your thumb or your finger into the button here and then pull on the side of the disc touching it as little as possible. Now you can have one finger on the physical media itself it's not going to damage it but with putting your middle finger inside of the disc or even your ring finger for that matter you're not going to ruin the disc you're not going to have a risk of it falling on the ground or anything when you're picking it up you're not damaging the physical media itself this is basically what that little hole inside of the disc itself is made for especially for when it's inside of the physical media player that you have whether that's a blu-ray disc drive or even sort of ps3 a ps4 and a ps5 so i'm going to put this back inside the case when you're putting it back in if this movie has you know sort of artwork on it you can press your fingers down on the artwork and it won't damage the disc and basically it's put back in place just fine so that is my thoughts and opinions on how to kind of eject a movie or put a movie back in the case it's relatively self explanatory it's not really that difficult you don't really need a rocket scientist pun intended to kind of do this it's basically easy to do but I think a lot of people just don't do it because they're either lazy or they just don't really care about collecting physical media and they don't really care about having to go back and rebuy it and teaching you guys the proper method of doing so is going to ensure that you have a really proper blu-ray disc collection like you see behind me in this video so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this video was it helpful for you guys did you guys learn anything that you guys didn't really know about physical media or ejecting a movie out of it case to begin with. I know a lot of people that kind of tend to do the other method and that drives me up a wall when they do that just because I'm like well you're gonna have to go back and rebuy those movies eventually anyway so hopefully it'll save you some money in the near future so as always guys leave a comment in the comment section down below rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out